Welcome home to this featureless cube that is now your home. Don't shout. Welcome home, cube. Please don't shout. Welcome to this cube. Shh. Welcome to Night Vale. Today's news, John Peters, you know, the farmer, has reported strange physical sensations rippling throughout the town. Of course, I have no idea what he could mean by this, but maybe I missed most of what he was saying because I was too distracted by the ever-looming presence of the unknowable void above me. As usual. Well, anyway, in other news, oh, oh, I, I, I just can't hold on any longer. I have to tell you guys something. I have to tell you something, listeners. Okay, right before I began recording for today's broadcast, guess who called and left a voicemail? You guessed it, my Carlos. Ah. Sweet, beautiful, perfect Carlos called me, and you will never, ever, ever, ever guess what he asked. Let's listen to the voicemail right now. Hey, so something weird is going on in Nightdale. I don't know if you've noticed, but I might just take you up on that offer for an interview. Uh, I'll stop by the station soon. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Did you hear that, listeners? Carlos finally agreed to have an interview with me. I'm so excited! Oh my gosh, I don't think I'm going to be able to handle myself. I mean, I always manage to maintain a professional attitude while on the air. Speaking to you wonderful beautiful listeners. But I don't know, when I'm around Carlos, I just, I just lose all sense of grace and finesse that I possess. I just, something about being in his presence just makes everything seem, everything, the whole world just seems to not matter anymore. And all that matters is me and my Carlos. <sighs> but anyway, he is going to be at the station very soon. So until he gets here, let's go to a word from our sponsors. Are you feeling down? Down on your luck? Down on the ground? Missing your legs? Missing your entire body? We know how you feel. We know. We do. We know. We know everything about you. We know who you are, where you live, who you love. You cannot escape. This message was brought to you by Starbucks. Oh my goodness, listeners. Carlos just walked into my studio. Hello, Carlos. Um, hello, Cecil. How are you today? I'm excellent, Carlos. So, tell me, why did you decide to have an interview with me at last? What, what scientific discovery needs discovering? Well, I, I'm not sure if you've exactly noticed this yet, but, um, we're both women, Cecil, and, uh, oh. I, I don't know why. Um, well, 
To tell the truth, I have been noticing some changes throughout the town. Um, maybe this was the uh, physical thing that John Peters was talking about? Did you I, talk to John Peters? I did. He called me up, I think, right after he had an interview with you, but he sounded strange. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure this, this phenomenon is affecting the entire town. Oh, neat. Um, uh, how so? I, uh, what do you... Well, everyone has switched sexes, Cecil. It's... I, I don't know how to get us all back. Oh, well, I'm sure if anyone could do anything about this situation, you can, Carlos. I have complete faith in you. Thank you, Cecil. I... I just wanted to advise all of your listeners that, uh, it seems like a completely normal, well, yes, a completely normal happenstance, and, uh, that no one should panic, um, and I'll try and find an antidote for this as soon as possible. What do you think could be causing this phenomenon? I honestly don't know. Nothing like this has happened since I've been in Night Vale. It's been over a year, and this is the first time I've seen something like this. It's a little bit disorienting, I must admit, but I, I'll, I'll be looking into it and uh, doing some research. It might be something to do with uh, the recent rainstorm that happened, which was odd in and of itself because we live in a desert. Yes, that 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 is indeed very very odd. I'm 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 sorry, Carlos, uh, what, what were you saying? Uh nothing. My my scientists and I have collected samples of the rain and we're seeing if it contains some sort of chemical that would cause a change like this. And uh, we're also going to try and see if we can find some subjects who weren't outdoors during that time, although it seems the entire town ventured outside to do some sort of rain dance, is that correct? Oh, yes! The first annual Night Vale rain dance. It's been a long-standing tradition that just started today, or yesterday, rather. Um, we decided that there needed to be more rain in the desert, but maybe we miscalculated. That's always a possibility. I mean, I mean, you know, mysterious agents from a vague yet menacing government agency were the instigators of the rain dance, but I mean, they usually don't do anything wrong. I really don't know, Cecil. I just wanted to warn everyone that if you wake up looking and sounding a bit different, that it's... Uh, well, it's happening to everyone. Well, if I may say so, Carlos, I think you look just as perfect as a female, as you do a male, not that I would prefer that you were a female or anything like that. I just thought I would say that you are very nice as a female. Um, thank you, Cecil. I, I, I feel the same about, about you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to the weather. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, listeners, it seems like this phenomenon that's going on through our town is something that may or may not have been the fault of the vague and yet menacing government agency, which is strange because they never do anything negative to the town. But whatever the cause may be, I'm sure that my lovely, skilled, talented, smart Carlos will find the answer as he always does. Or as she always does. I don't know about you listeners, but I don't think this change is necessarily bad. I think this could be a good opportunity to help people understand the workings of the opposite sex, to show people that we are all the same, no matter our sex or preferred gender. Everyone has the same feelings and emotions and chance of becoming the undead. So with that, listeners, I bid you good night, and may you come away from this experience with new understanding.